Hello, hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Welcome, Thursday, welcome wow. everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by stream today. Uh, little intros before we start. My name is Khan. I'm the live streaming and community manager here at Steel Series, the illustrious Steel Series. And uh, let yes. me kick it over to Koob. Yes, thank you so much, Khan. I am John Koob, our global director of social media. We have a very, 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 I just want to hop right into who the the guest of the day is, guest of the week, if you will, in celebrating Keyboard Week of our Glory Story campaign. We've been around for 20 years, folks. The last six weeks, we've been celebrating a different aspect of how Steel Series has innovated in the last 20 years, how we have been changing the game, if you will, kind of a cheesy way to say it, but we really have been changing the game for the past 20 years. Um, and we have a very, very, very special guest we just call him Keyboard Guy. Uh, I'll let him give a, an appropriate introduction of who he actually is. Damn, that's a nice intro. Thanks, Coop. <laughs> so my name is Jason. Uh, I am the Keyboard Guy, Senior Product Manager. I'm in charge of the keyboard lines here at SteelSeries. Been doing this for over five years at SteelSeries. Been in the game for almost 10 years now, developing keyboards. Excited to be on to talk shop, answer questions. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Woo! Yeah, thanks so much for joining us during the keyboard glory keyboard week for Glory Story. Yeah, finally I... some love for keyboards. Finally, <laughs> it's always finally. headsets here, right? Let's give those <laughs> right. keyboards their due credit, right? <laughs> right. And I have to answer my door real quick. I told people this was going to happen, but feel free uh -oh. to roll the video. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So while, uh, while Coop is answering the door, uh, <laughs> let's roll this, uh, let's roll our keyboard innovation and, uh, would love your commentary right after Jason. Okay. Leg, leg out. Here's a good thing about keyboards. You can type whatever you want. Like, yes, oh, yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. for example, a bad thing about keyboards, they were made for writing emails. So when you play games, they broke. At SteelSeries, we created the first mechanical gaming keyboard with fingertip precision and sensitivity. A keyboard that could WASD its way to wins and withstand the rage of defeat. And just when it seemed like the keyboard was solved, we reinvented the technology for the first time in 35 years. Now you can customize the sensitivity of every key to suit feather-like fingers or deep and deliberate presses. so you can get your hands on a keyboard that gets your hands. Innovation is in our blood. Always has been, always will be. For glory. For glory! For glory! Just an, just an absolute beaut of a video, to <laughs> yeah. be completely honest. Like, what, what were your first impressions when you saw that video first time, Jason? And like, kind of break it down, your feelings of, of that video. Yeah, I mean, it's it's striking just like, you know, the characters and the hands but so it's very very true i mean you know oh there we go little <laughs> sorry the hands <laughs> um the little people i thought it was interesting i think it grew on me a little bit you know as i saw it more and more <laughs> but um you know i've definitely had my rage moments with products and hitting them and uh you know throwing mice across the room things like that so I think everybody can identify a little bit with the rage scenes and then of course once you get the rgb going for sure right and then we drop a couple pretty major substantial truth bombs in there of being yep. the first first uh, mechanical gaming keyboard ever or first you know however however we categorize that or yep. whatever it is verbatim in there when when you first started at steel series what was your knowledge of the company? What was a little bit of your background of, of what you knew about SteelSeries in this space? And what were you excited about when you first started? Well, I think my, my experience came from two parts of, uh, you know, working uh, at a, one of our competitors previously doing product category for keyboards, and then also being a gamer myself um, and using, you know, I, I always think of SteelSeries with some of the mice that um, they had in the past, along with, I know my first introduction to SteelSeries product was a Siberia headset. I remember getting uh, the CSGO version because um, I'm a big uh, CSGO player, um, especially back in the day when, when those came out. And I always look very uh, fondly on SteelSeries, um, you know, being a gamer and also, you know, working for a different company previously, 
um, as well. But I think the the thing that I liked about Steel Series was their tie to the esports scene. And you know, they were always. At, I mean, I was going to all the, the the events, and you know, the pros were using Steel Series products, and it kind of caught my eye on okay. What is Steel Series doing, and you know, building these products for these professional athletes? You know, build quality and the and the performance. It was always something I kind of looked from afar and had some admiration uh, towards the company as well. And so, you know, when I had the opportunity to jump on board with Steel Series, I was more than thrilled for sure. What was some of the context of how you actually got your job at Steel Series? If and and I mean, were you straight up poached from another company? Did people see what you were doing? Did people at Steel mind everyone in chat? This is years before Khan and I worked at worked at the company. I don't I don't even know this backstory myself. But were there were you like did you get poached because you were doing such cool things elsewhere? Was it you applying and reaching out to someone here because you thought the company was cool? Like, give me a little extra context. Give me some meat of how you actually got your job here. Yeah, I, I was poached for sure. I think, uh, you know, I had, I, I had that some, guy, we need him. Yeah, that guy, I had some keyboards that, you know, I came up, came out with, or was part of a great team at my previous company, developing uh, stuff like the Corsair K70 RGB, the K95 RGB, the K65 RGB, the K70. Um, so yeah, I, I, I was poached um, and I remember my first time I came to Chicago, uh, you know, being from California, it was, uh, I think it was 50 degrees out and I came with a big warm jacket on and, uh, Jeff who was interviewing me was wearing shorts and I just, I just couldn't <laughs> believe it. Um, I was freezing and then now, you know, you get 50 nowadays, it's, it's right. flip flops, shorts and a tank top now here. Yes. I'm just well, yeah. I'm, I'm just imagining you in a in a Canada goose like bundled yeah. up. And... Oh, I didn't know. I didn't even know what a, a parka was yet. I you know because I, I snowboard, so I came with my ski jacket on, <laughs> a snowboard jacket, and I re I learned fast that 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 isn't a winter coat. So. <laughs> I love but, it. But when I came, I think you know I was impressed just with the uh, you know how uh, the company was just so focused on esports product. Um, you know, they sold me and uh, Tino, who I believe was on a couple weeks ago, just an amazing guy. And, you know, just the vision for the company and really some of the track history of the products. It was, uh, it just became a natural, natural fit for sure. Oh yeah. Like I, I always find it interesting with some of you product guys, how impactful your guys's work has been in the space as a whole like some of the keyboards that you've designed not just at steel series but other companies have been staples in the industry in that category of products for years and years and years which is super interesting for me to think about just as a reminder to everybody in chat i know different people are joining us we're putting out a few different social media messages this is a kind of a ama q a question with steel series keyboard guy jason christian who we're kind of running through some of the the more uh, traditional questions with right now, but please, we encourage you ask any questions you want. Doesn't even have to be about keyboards. Could be about Jason's life, his background, what's in that frame that's on the floor. I don't even know what's in that frame on the floor. What type of printer he uses in the background. Quite literally anything. Obviously, the more keyboard focused it could be, the better. But we will be getting to all of the questions that are being asked in chat right now at the near the end of the stream also may or may not be doing a little giveaway during the stream so you got to stick around in chat to actually know what's happening and uh shout yeah. out to uncle drew thank you so much for the tier one sub wow 10 months 10 months you've been we drew. love you uncle drew we love you oh, so much nice. <laughs> and uh we just want to highlight the charities that we are donating to for the month exclamation point donation. We are donating to two this month, two women's charities, Vital Voices and AnitaB.org. And for the month of March, Steel Series will be donation matching all Twitch revenue that we make. So uh, thank you so much for everybody who has donated and subscribed and cheered those bits. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, Jason, so, you know, you say you had the background, you got poached. Um, <laughs> From what you were working on before, uh, yeah. and you know, I, I can assume you were already you had you had issues that you wanted to solve, like is, uh, problems in the gaming space that you said, "Hey, we can solve this by doing this." When you came to Steel Series, um, what were some of the first things you wanted to tackle, and some of the first things you wanted to solve? 
Yeah. Uh, so, you know, when I came here, you know, I, I got introduced to our just fantastic R&D uh, team and our engineers, both in Chicago and Taipei. And one thing we started to look at is what, what I called the uh, the actuation wars in keyboards, where it seemed like every company, every keyboard release was just trying to outdo themselves. You know, two millimeter actuation, I'm going to better you, I'm going to go to 1.8, 1.5. And uh, when we took a look at some of the technology they were developing, we had something that I call ending end of the switch wars was making a mechanical switch that had adjustable actuation. That was the first thing that, um, you know, that problem we were solving. And soon as it was like, okay, we could do this. It was, you know, it was a no brainer, full speed ahead. Um, you know, let's get into this project and we have to, we have to, we have to put this to market and get it out there. Cause that's what people want. Now for context, the yep. Apex, the Apex Pro and Apex Pro TKL, which are the keyboards you're referring to that have those yep. switches, the OmniPoint switches with the adjustable actuation, those came out in two, summer of 2019. Yep. So almost, almost getting on two years now, but you joined the company and you're claiming that this was the first product you worked on five, what, five years ago, six years ago. Wasn't the first product I worked on. It, that would have been probably from the start to finish was the rival 600 was the first product oh, right. I work on, nice worked on. Um, he does but, it all. He does yeah, it all people. Well, you guys had Brian last week, you know, he's way better right. than me on my, so he's yeah. got, a, I don't know how much he leaked here, but he's, you know, he's got some, we have amazing mice launched this year. But John, yes, uh, right. you know, that vision for the product of Apex Pro, Apex Pro TKL was done a couple months after I started here. And that was, oh, I'm going on a little over five years here and now it's still serious. So, you know, the challenges of, you know, developing that, uh, you know, customizing, finding a supplier to build our switch to our patent, it, it took, it was a long development cycle for sure. Right. And because that's just amazing to me is wait, the keyboard came out in 2019, but the technology for that keyboard, and I know products have, and I learned about this when I started working at SteelSeries and more on the hardware, like getting into the hardware side of stuff that the time span it takes from ideation to go to market is, is yeah. something a lot of people, unless you're in the biz, if you, if you would, you have no idea how long it actually takes. So, uh, Somebody said, I thought you guys only hired Brian's. Yeah, you're right. Jason got very lucky that uh, as a product guy, product person, he was not named Brian. He got very lucky. Um, My middle name is Brian, lucky. though. No. It I'm, is not. No, it's not. Okay. It's like, oh my God. We should have just said Brian. I can change quickly. it, though. If that makes everybody in chat feel better, for sure. Yeah, honestly. Um, and yeah, and yeah, we do see your guys, we do see your guys' questions coming in, and we're we're gonna get to them. So you don't need to spam the same question. I'm looking at you, Lemon Juicer ninety six. Um, you you are you are noticed. Okay, we see your question, and it will be answered by the. Is end. your second name Dur Derulo? Jason Derulo. Jason Dur okay, all right, we gotta get. No. We gotta say no. I don't know. We're that gonna is. we're gonna get distracted with these excellent <laughs> questions from chat. Um, you mentioned esports and how. Yep. Uh, impactful steel series involvement with esports has been throughout the years that you've worked here and even you knew of of steel series when we're coming out with a new product a keyboard specifically what thought goes into okay this is a esports specific keyboard and what do we think about as far as features go and how do we work with pro players when it comes to we want to make the best possible keyboard for people who are trying to perform at the top of their yep. game, like what what goes into our our mindset from the keyboard side, feature wise, um, when it comes yeah. to esports specifically? I, I think it's important not to have a mindset. Actually, you know, Ooh. let it let it develop organically and not. You know, I'm a gamer myself. Yeah, I'm not an esports pro, and I sometimes it's one thing you really got to be careful of is using your own personal bias to influence a product instead of letting gamers, the market, quote unquote, the market tell you what they need and what they want. So I think when we talk about esports pros, you know, it's first and foremost, it's sitting down, it's talking to pros. Um, it, it's watching them, you know, at tournaments, uh, you know, a lot of people are watching the screen, right? Of them playing, getting headshots, Nico, you know, one-shotting, whatever. You know what I'm watching? I'm watching the hands on the keyboard, the hands on the mice. How are they using it? How are they pressing it? How, you know, uh, what are they using? 
So I think you got to go in a little bit more of an organic process of not letting your personal opinion dictate and, you know, take a look at, you know, um, are they doing a high number of actions on the keyboards? Is the mouse more important than, for them for the keyboard? Um, you know, looking at all those different angles and then iterate with them to get feedback every step of the way. And I think we do a great job using our, um, you know, influencer teams and we can, you know, what we're going to get even better at doing that of making sure we get that input, especially if we develop a product specifically for esports players. You know, I think Apex Pro TKL is a very good example of the, the, the target audience and how we went about it wasn't necessarily for esports pros. Um, right. But you have Fortnite players, pros using it, uh, CSGO pros using it. And now we can kind of build off on all that feedback we have and, you know, start getting to that next level of, you know, of those needs that these players are having. So that's I'm really excited mm. about what we have coming out mm. later this mm. year, next mm. year. It's going to be really cool. Soon, TM. Soon, TM. Soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> with, and, and just to not get anyone too excited, you've... You've been in the space uh, 10-ish years, call it 10-ish years, um, yep. as far as products in, in the gaming space go. When you take a look back at, at some of the original keyboards in the space yep. that were maybe used for gaming or used for ergonomic uh, reasons, not necessarily gaming, like, what has it been, looking from the outside in or inside out, the development of what keyboards looked like three, five, 10 years ago to what they are becoming now and like what what's currently trending but starting with we've got things like the Merc stealth keyboard the oh, some of these keyboards yeah. with that are that are split down the middle people are using them with two hands across their desk all these things that people thought were were great ideas at the time some people are still in love with designs like that but we're seeing we're seeing a trend if you would yeah. or things trend in different ways what's that what's that like to you yeah i you know i think everybody kind of started off back in the day right and what you saw is you're just using that free keyboard that maybe came with the dell or the hp system and you know it was membrane it broke you know it didn't really have any performance aspect to it and i think it really started to change when mechanical started getting popular and you know it, it kind of carved out that you know you could actually have you know a, a gaming keyboard specifically for gaming and it's not going to be something, you know, your parents just hand me down and gave to you, um, you know, back in the day. So I think mechanical was just a huge evolution in gaming keyboards. You know, I know there was things, you know, like, you know, the IBMs of the world that had these, but they weren't really, you know, geared towards gaming. And they had, you know, their own problems, you know, ultra expensive and things like that. But mechanical, I think, was a was a big evolution of it and then i think everybody kind of tried different things you mentioned like the merc stealth right, um, right you know there's split keyboards for ergonomics you know all these different things and then you know i think about eight years ago was when the whole rgb craze came in and you know you either love it or you hate it but it's here to stay um and that's when you started to see these more expensive keyboards come out and then people started being able to really start to come up with unique feature sets like because if you said you know hey we're going to sell you know eight years ago we were going to sell a keyboard for 200 dollars like the apex pro i would probably get laughed out of the meeting trying to pitch this to executives right, right? right. But <laughs> rgb kind of made that happen where okay people you know people are willing to spend some money if they they see a benefit um so you know, that RGB was probably the biggest moment I've seen, at least my time in gaming keyboards. And then once RGB became standard, then you started really looking at those performance aspect improvements, um, you know, like the OmniPoint switch, um, you know, like tweaking uh, the gram force of key switches, material selection. Um, so it's been, I think it's an always constant evolution and I'm really grateful for us and even our competitors, cause we're always trying to push each other to outdo each other and basically everybody else benefits as well. And when you, you know, you, you said you're a, you're a gamer yourself yeah. when you are playing games, uh, what, what are the criteria for a keyboard, uh, like for you personally, like, what yep. do you, what do you look at? What, what are your switches of choice? TKL for sure. Because I do like the keyboard tilt, right? Uh, you know, playing CS:GO. Uh, so I use a TKL. You know, 
I'm blessed because I work here. I got basically all the keyboards right. So I like <laughs> switching out switches every once in a while. Sometimes if I'm, you know, want to get something a little fresh, I'll go to a blue, uh, you know, a blue keyboard. But mostly I just use the uh, the Apex Pro TKL kind of as my as my daily driver. And I set the actuation points to be as fast as possible on the WASD um, just so I could hover when I'm strafing, moving around in, in Counter-Strike. Uh, as well so i'm definitely a huge fan of tkl i you know I, I remember looking to doing a tkl keyboard um god eight years ago and uh you know quote unquote why would we sell a hacker keyboard um <laughs> Wait, and... that was that was said when you tried to pitch a tkl in a, yep. in a meeting oh, yeah. yep hey but we got it approved so i can't complain about that That's amazing and, and get it going uh but tkl is it, it's just i mean it's taken seven years you know i, I mean we all know tkl 60 percent, 65 percent keyboards 75 percent keyboards tkl is just starting to take off of just mainstream uh adoption right. rate right. there and you can you can definitely see that in how popular the apex pro tkl is as well yeah i think actually Oh, man, we should have made some special like celebration graphic or something on the street on on stream for this. But uh, I believe no, not not I believe this is a fact. The stats people confirm. The stats, yeah, the stats people the confirm the stone cold the, lock. Yeah, stone cold <laughs> lock on this. The Apex Pro TKL, as of like last week or the week before, the Apex Pro TKL is the world's best selling TKL keyboard. Over everything, period, bar none. Yep. Can we the get world... some hype in chat for that? Yeah, can, can I just get, get some emotes? Get a little, little, little <laughs> keyboard hype, little little something, little something hype for Apex Pro TKL. Coop, has... Coop, say it one more time. Say it one more the, time. The Apex Pro. Let me look in the camera. Make sure. I'm... Let me. Yeah, zoom in. <laughs> yeah, a little closer. <laughs> the Apex Pro TKL is the world's best-selling TKL keyboard. The Steel Series Apex Pro TKL is the world's best-selling keyboard. Asterisk TKL. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. Look at the hype in chat. Oh. Thank you guys for for being cool. Yeah. Thank you. I oh, mean, yeah. are we surprised though? I'm not surprised because I feel like the Apex Pro and the Apex Pro TKL, TKL are so loved. Like, I, I, I. I love going on our Twitter. I love going on everything and everybody just saying how much they love it. I um it's it's an awesome feeling. And I I know why they're the best selling TKLs. <laughs> I think it's because of John and you know all the uh peeling you do of the OLED <laughs> screen constantly on social media. Peel series, I, I think that Peel is series. selling that Peel series. by more by far the most for sure. Honestly, I think we need some sort of Peel Series emote in chat or something because Peel <laughs> Series has honestly taken over and it is now part of our brand. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, shout out to everyone who sends us videos of when yep. they get their new Apex keyboard. I think it's all the way from the Apex 5, all the Apex 7s, the Apex Pros. Thank you guys for sending us videos of you peeling the OLED little screen off there. And just as a reminder, we do have a possible giveaway during this stream, but you got to stick around for all of it. And we are answering questions that are getting put in chat by you guys uh towards the end of it what what's an appropriate next question a good transition from here um with the apex pro tkl actually yep what do you what do you appreciate that steel series does or how we approach products that differentiates us in the space compared to obviously any of our competitors what do we do that's different slash better from product ideation execution versus our competitors if we talk about the Apex Pro TKL specifically, I, you know, a lot of the work or kind of the main thing, uh, other than the peeling on the screen, is are the switches, obviously, right? And the work the team put in from the engineers, the whole organization, to bring a switch developed from the ground up to life is just extraordinary. It, it just it takes so many people. Um, to be able to do that. And most companies, even large companies, would struggle with like a project like this. And I, I, I think it's really keen to understand too on the Switch is there's specifications that go along with it. Like we spec out 0.4 millimeters to 3.8 millimeter actuation point. You could, you know, 
I'm not saying others, but you can get pretty shady on like how you spec things out, you sure. know, um, and, you know, kind of fudge the numbers a little bit. I'm very proud that, you know, our our team in, in Chicago here and Taipei, you know, we wanted to make sure we got very tight tolerances to those specs. So they're a hundred percent accurate and you know there's no funny business going on uh with the switch so i admire that about about our team and our leadership is you know it's it's doing right by the customer and making sure that you know our specs are true and you know we look at everything uh, a lot of things from that lens as well is just great products but truthful products too integrity integrity <laughs> baby that's what we have is integrity yep that's, love that uh, oh, we got Magic Helmet TV in chat. Just give a shout. Is there anyone that's just been kind of lurking in chat who hasn't said anything? If you have, feel free to say hi or what's up. Um, we really appreciate anyone who's just hanging out with us right now. We've got keyboard guy, Jason Christian, uh, our head of product, I don't know, whatever your official title is. You own the keyboard game <laughs> at Steel Series and in the industry. Let's be let's be completely honest. Uh, I don't Jason, know if you saw Coop, but yeah. uh, there is a Merc Stealth there's a Merc Stealth ooh. bid happen bidding ooh. war happening right now <laughs> in oh, chat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Is that uh, is that the giveaway or no? Well, <laughs> yeah, we okay. So I'll I'll reveal. This is keyboard week. We are celebrating keyboards at Steel Series, and we cannot do that without mentioning the Merc Stealth. Um, I, we should have like a graphic or a video or something pull up of it specifically, <laughs> but the Merc Stealth, can we do that? Can we switch to the screen and can, you, can, we, can yeah, we even just like Google what it is? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> can we just like at least get a, a general picture of the Merc Stealth up? Um, the Merc Stealth is a keyboard that was launched however many years ago at SteelSeries. Um, a lot of people go crazy about it for the design of it. We are doing a... Not a Merc Stealth, but a Merc, whatever the other one is, whatever the one we posted about recently. We are doing a Merc, yeah, a Merc Z board giveaway. It'll be across Facebook and Twitter tomorrow. That is not the giveaway that's happening in this stream. There's a separate one that's going to be happening in this stream. All right, cat's out of the bag. <laughs> but we are doing a Merc Z board. I believe it's a Z board, whatever it is. It's a Merc keyboard, it's and it's going to be going live tomorrow. Yeah, do we have a picture of the Merc Stealth? Yep, one second. Um, Pulling no it problem, up. No problem, no um, problem. I, I had no idea we were even there. doing that. That's, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. He, this is, is a picture of, of the Merc Stealth. <laughs> now, chat, can we, get a, can we get a 1 to 10? 0 being you'd never use this. 10 being you'd pay $1,000 for this. <laughs> just a quick, just a quick, just a quick... I just want to see what where we're at where we're at in chat. Zero zero one ten three eleven. And you see, zero, there, zero. it'll be it'll there'll be a big disparity here because it's an older <laughs> generation. A, it's yeah. an older generation. There's very few. I think I think there's very few young quote unquote people that mm. appreciate this keyboard for what it is or was, as opposed to the older generation who it might have been their first gaming keyboard they ever got and they fell in love with the design of it. Jason, what I, I need your opinion. I don't know if I've ever even heard your actual opinions on this keyboard knowing that when you came to steel series this was what they might have been known for at the time the z board the merc stealth give it give it to us straight give us to it straight it's definitely one of the most asked about keyboards i get asked about for sure and i know right. uh other people within steel series get asked about it too you know we were at pax east uh many many years ago and it had quite a few people come up and ask about about this you know we haven't you know I, full honesty, we haven't seriously explored doing a, uh, a version out there. There are some ideas, though. I think the first one is making it mechanical. Can we modernize the, the left look? But then, you know, I, I wonder, too, if the purists out there, as they say, would just right. want us to, you know, ramp up that production at the exact <laughs> same thing. You know, are, are we going to be, you know, Iron Man 3 uh, when everybody wants Iron Man? I don't know. You know, will the sequel be better than the original? That's, so that's, there's a little fear there, honestly, to even uh, yeah. touch this keyboard. Yeah, and there's someone in chat that says they paid $400 for it yeah, somewhere. We've, I mean, yeah, we've seen yeah. these on, on eBay, uh, Facebook Marketplace. Other other sites go for, I swear I've seen some for over $1,000, I swear. Like, and we have one. Wait, I've seen we have one in the office, but it is like unopened. Yeah, uh, you know, original and, tape. Yep. 
So if we wanted to do a giveaway, we would be giving away the last known Merc Stealth in existence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last known existing Merc Stealth by Steel Series. Um, that's it's actually like an armor truck delivery <laughs> yeah. door. Yeah. Suitcase with a handcuff, you know, yeah. delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, maybe that'll be that could be a good April Fool's Day uh, prank or something. Um, uh, I, I found out about this keyboard when I started at Steel Series, and every time we post on Facebook about anything, yep. keyboard or non-keyboard related, there is a I'll call them a, a for lack of a better term like a a cult following of people that will no matter what we post on Facebook. I say Facebook specifically because it's not as bad on other on other channels. They post, "Hey, that's a great mouse. Or that's a great headset. Have you guys considered uh, manufacturing more units of the Merc Stealth?" <laughs> and it's just like, oh, like there'll be dozens of these comments, mm -hmm. dozens of these comments on almost every single every single post we have. It's because Facebook has all the oldies. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Um, it's just their it's their platform of choice, Tristan. You know this. And our support team, our support team got gets so many tickets about it uh, every week too that we named the room in the Steel Series office the support room is the Merc Stealth Room, <laughs> and they got the they got a little plaque made and everything. Had to, okay, had to. Right. God. Okay. Let's get off of Merc Stealth. I I didn't want to ever. I didn't want to. I I didn't even want to spend the amount of time we just spent on it. Uh, let the legend lie. <laughs> yeah. Let's let, keep yeah. It like exactly. That. <laughs> yeah, let the legend die is what it is. No, um, no. Yeah. <laughs> it will um, never be dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with and with it's kind of a, a, a decent transition, but with the way trends have been happening in in keyboards uh, in the industry with pro players, Fortnite obviously has seen a huge Fortnite players and and that community have made a huge impact on products moving forward. Lightweight mice, like they've been the, a big push of those. Um, where does ins where do you get inspiration from? Like, what other companies? Maybe not necessarily competitors, obviously, but like, what other companies are doing cool things in the space that you might pull inspiration from? Or, uh, and I know it's it's kind of an easy cop out answer if you just said, "Well, we look at what the pros are doing." But are there any uh, for this question specifically? Where's your inspiration come from? I think a, a lot of it recently has been from the car industry. Ooh. Um, you know, Ooh. looking at, you know, some of the, especially some of the mice, when we talk about lightweight kind of stripped down, uh, you know, we, we look at some, you know, the, the race car industry and, you know, how less is more per se there. Also, I think, um, you know, certain car manufacturers do a good job because they make cars for specific people's needs. And, you know, if we, if you look at, let's just say Ford, right, you know, there's somebody, there's a specific need for like a, a Mach-E, someone that wants electric, uh, in, environment, environmentally friendly, things like that. And then, you know, um, you know, the materials they use within cars, I think that can give inspiration for, you know, things like wrist rest or uh, metal, maybe carbon fiber as well. Um, so I think the, the car industry is kind of really hot right now on, you know, material choices. Um, specifically segmenting certain products or vehicles for specific types of customers. So I think there's some really good things like uh, Ford, um, you know, Audi is doing right now, just a, a, and Tesla, of course. I think there's a lot of uh, things you can take from there on the problems they're solving and kind of relate that a little bit to keyboards. I know it sounds a little bit odd, but um, it makes sense in my mind. And uh, there's a lot of inspiration coming from the car industry, at least on my end right now. No, I love that. I wouldn't have, yeah, I wouldn't have thought so. And that's in, uh, the way you break down uh, them choosing certain things to fit specific people's needs yep. is actually like makes so much sense when I hear it from you and how we do that with our products and with keyboards in the past and what might be to come in the future. Um, that to me is, is really, like, it, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. And Lou said that he takes inspiration from like architecture and things like that. So it is super. Yeah super interesting to <laughs> to hear that cars architecture things i wouldn't think of when i when i think hey i'm gonna design a gaming peripheral i think it's so cool right and yeah there's people in chat saying that our giveaways are always scams our giveaways are not <laughs> scams but if you do hit exclamation point free keyboard you can be entered into this stream's giveaway just click on the link it's a completely safe link after stream elements drops 
the link from free keyboard mm -hmm. and you just fill out your information there uh everything everything's good just hit free keyboard uh jason speaking of giveaways yep very 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 important question and this is going to directly impact what someone in this chat right now could be receiving speaking of scams just speaking about of to do scams. a non-scam <laughs> but jason <laughs> whatever keyboard is your favorite keyboard right now that steel series offers is the keyboard that someone in chat will be winning by the end of this stream jason christian keyboard guy what is your current keyboard of choice from steel series it's an active product right correct mm -hmm. can't be eol'd correct okay end of line by the way for anyone and end of yeah. life sorry life sorry the terms. Yeah, yeah 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 my right. bad t1 says forget I... it john <laughs> you know <laughs> do i need to get closer we... <laughs> yeah, yeah the no, dramatic okay. which keyboard is someone in chat gonna be winning we've already gonna... talked about it a bunch <laughs> apex pro tkl all let's go. right let's go are you talking about the best-selling keyboard in the world. It, wait, oh, this looks staged now since he has it right. It there. does. I had it. I had it. I had it out <laughs> wait, here the whole time. As it, no, that? I have all of it. This was I not coordinated prior. I have all of my keyboards right next to me. I was ready to choose which one, which one, whichever one you're going to say. But yes, chat. We are giving away an Apex Pro TKL. Go tell your friends. Actually, don't tell anyone because it's going to make your chances uh, less probable of winning. Um, I know we have uh, some social posts ready to go. We're going to blast this out that we are doing this giveaway to try and get a little bit more hype in here. We got the Apex Pro TKL. All Someone's right. going to get it. It's the best-selling keyboard, not just in the U.S., not just in Europe, in the whole wide world. Oh. Now, Jason, we get a really cool opportunity with almost every product, I feel like, that we come out with to do... Um... Oh, wait, by the way, how do people enter the giveaway, Kristen? What, what are, what's the giveaway Mission point thing? ticket exclamation point ticket right type that one time in chat and you are good to go exclamation point ticket excellent um jason we have a really cool opportunity with some of the teams that we sponsor and partner with and some of the influencers that we partner with to do um some pretty cool like product related videos and one of them that we have pulled up here is with phase mega who is 16 years old i believe someone can correct yep. me if i'm wrong 16 17 years old obviously a young lord at fortnite um he's placed well at uh fortnite world cup consistent or at the fortnite world cup fncs he's always popping off he's still one of the top players in the game i believe this video is with our apex five and yeah let's roll it i want to get your thoughts on like how we work with influencers and some of the cool activations we've done in the past lego what's up guys it's phase mega here and this is my setup Well, I think it's cool when we as you work can see, with these the keyboard, people, right, as well. Z, right. Z, it is, Q, it's very these are all my uh, organic, my too. It's not like wall. just us four. saying, and here's an exact and script, and make it so corporate. Right. You know, it's going to be stuffy. It's like, you know, I love how we have, you know, they have the freedom to create a video, too, that, you know, kind of fits their personality, which you've seen over and over again with some of these phase videos as well. Right. The keyboard is very of course, you gotta have the full RGB setup too. I mean, yeah, naturally. Very authentic. You know, you got the the tower matching, the RGB mouse pad, the keyboard, the mouse. I like that they that he went through uh, engine there momentarily. Yep. Um, who has been one of the coolest, or like in your opinion, one of the people that we've partnered with or an, an influencer, uh, partner, whatever, that has been using Steel Series gear that you've been like. Damn, that's pretty cool that that they that they use our gear or that um, they're actually partnered with us or maybe not partnered with us but just use our gear. Who's someone that you've in the years looked at and been like, damn? Face Nico. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I Which, mean, just yeah, he's been a legend. Right? He's yeah. been a legend for so long. His his one digs, you know, are just yeah. legendary. To you know, uh, you know, to have him a part of you know, kind of repping our products is is just you know it, you know it you feel like a kid again honestly <laughs> right right yeah he absolute legend absolute legend um do, oh i wanted to show the the phase jev video if we can if that's possible to pull up 
Um, if because Jason, I don't know if you've I I assume you've seen this phase Jeb video, and yeah, Chris, yeah. I don't know how I don't know what the best way to find it is when he's um, smashing the keyboard. Oh yeah. Do you I have that, Kristen? If not, I can, I can pull it up quick um, and send it to you. Uh, I got it. If you just, okay, good. Let's let's roll that. And this is obviously one of my this is one of my favorite all time videos. <laughs> yeah. Um, Everybody one. loves a good product smashing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as Kristen pulls it up here, we this was a completely no, unscripted. It oh, it's not on the screen. Can you see uh, it? And, oh, no. Nope. Sorry, you can hear it. <laughs> Oh yeah. boy, can you hear it? <laughs> um, there we go. Okay. So context of this video, hold on, is someone sent this video, like tweeted at us that this happened. This was unscripted. Has this was unscripted? Phase Jev, obviously playing Fortnite here. It turned into something. I think I don't think we put in any ads, but I, I think we could. Is the thing. I think we could put like money behind this and like push it out to more people. I think it is one of the best organic clips of all time. Go ahead. This steel series great form. Really well. I'm just saying. Dude, it's just there's something wrong. There's something wrong with my jump fatigue or some shit. <laughs> Oh, again, going. again. Oh, yeah, play the whole thing. It, it's, oh, the whole thing? Whole, okay. Yeah. okay, okay, sorry. I just wanted to watch that part. <laughs> this Steel Series shit holds up really well, I'm just saying. Dude, it's just, there's something wrong. It, there's something wrong with my jump fatigue or some shit. That's just not, it's just not true. No, I've owned a good amount of keyboards throughout my life. This is probably the most solid keyboard I've ever used as far as durability goes. I guess I'm just like too close to the ledge to where there's probably just a single frame where I'm able to hit space perfectly to where that allows me to actually jump. Otherwise, why do I keep spawning looking the wrong way? It's a perfect, it's so it's like, good. Uh we could not have paid him to make a better like, <laughs> organic clip of talking about we could not have paid him to make a better clip like this like him literally rage smashing the keyboard looking at it i think i think this was a uh, uh, 750 uh, and, well, i don't know if you know this otherwise uh, yeah i'm lagging sorry for my camera's lagging in chat um damn Oh, go on, go on without me if I'm lagging. I apologize for anyone that didn't hear anything. But um, people saying robot boy in chat. I am sorry. I do not have a heart. Um, I just we don't have to watch that video again. But I just thought that was so good. Let's get into some questions from chat. And if you're just joining us, exclamation point ticket in the chat to enter into the giveaway. Oh right. Chris, maybe you can, Chris, maybe you can own questions as I figure out my yeah. lag issue here. Yeah, you should be good. Thank you. Um, so yeah, Jason, I have some questions for you from huh? chat. Uh, and we've been put. In, are we all robotic? Hold on one second. Are we all robotic? Am I robotic too? Everyone is lagging. Amazing. We're all lagging. I wonder why. Coob, you good? One second, everybody. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just. Uh, it's probably. Might be on on your end with the uh, streaming. Let's um. Yep. Maybe this will be better. Hopefully. One second, everybody. Thanks. Yeah, gonna we are re recalibrating. Restarting the router. Restarting the router. They're lagging because the internet is punishing them for not. Releasing the Merc Stealth again. What's really lagging uh, is the release of more Merc Stealth keyboards. Oh my god. <laughs> Guy punched the keyboard so hard it broke the internet. Okay. 15 seconds, everybody. We'll be right
And we're back. And we're back. With the keyboard guy, Jason Christian. It's a beautiful <laughs> Thursday afternoon in sunny Chicago. Oh. <laughs> keyboard guy, Jason Christian. We have an extra guest in the stream. Jason, oh. why don't we get an intro oh. on oh. your your beautiful friend? Who is this? This is Elsa. Uh, she's about to turn four years old, German Shepherd. She's got big ears, but she's uh, she was just sleeping. She wants to get some some love, but one of oh. the uh, one of the questions we had in chat was, "Do you prefer dogs or cats?" And I think we've answered it. Dogs. <laughs> Tell me how the stream just got ten times better after that refresh with with Elsa <laughs> coming into it. Wow, let's go. Elsa just wanted to come in and say, "Why haven't you guys re-released the Merc Stealth yet?" Um, that was all. Could be it. it. Yeah. Uh, for anyone just joining, exclamation point ticket to enter the giveaway. We're answering a few more questions with Jason Christian, our head of keyboard product at Steel Series, whatever his title is, the keyboard guy. He he runs the show here, folks. Um, yeah, Kristen, let's get into some chat questions. We've had a lot of good ones. Let's do it. Um, are you trying to make keyboards quieter? Ooh. Or yes. is there a way to make them quieter? Well, I mean, you know, I think the first time we've kind of seen quiet keyboards is people, you know, they used O-rings, um, you know, that, that mount on the bottom of like an MX uh, switch keycap. Those are something we do sell on stillseries.com. Like if you, I think it's called the muffler kit. Um, if you wanted to make your keyboard a little bit quieter, um, you know, Cherry does have MX switches that are quote unquote silent switches. There's some negative side effects with travel distance and feel um, there, but we are looking at kind of other things that people are doing with uh, uh, dampeners below the, uh, you know, the main board and the keyboard. And then also, you know, designing around acoustics as well, because some of it is not the switches. It's almost like the sound of it reflect uh, uh, vibrating off the metal. Um, so it's something we always look like. And then that being said, there's purists that, you know, think of mechanical they think of noise and don't not necessarily want it to be quiet either yeah i think the apex pro is like the best sounding keyboard i've ever used and i'm not just saying that as a steel like series butter. employee it is really like butter i i um i think i use i use blue switches before this and then when i went to the yeah. omni point i was like whoa this is crazy <laughs> yeah one reason why they feel so good is because uh what we call the force curve right the force of pressing down the switch and then when the switch bounces back on a traditional switch it's like a fixed uh force to go down and then the force is is different on the way back with omnipoint it's it there is no force curve it's the same force bottom and coming up and that's where you get those comments like you said the the butter butter smooth feel that's basically exactly why got it Whoa. uh I, I have a feeling a few people are in also, what's up to everyone that's just joining us in chat? Really appreciate you for for hopping in here and hanging out with us. Uh, hopefully, it's nice weather where you're at and you're you're having a good time. We really appreciate you being here, seriously, especially on a random Thursday afternoon. So, thank you, Jason. I've noticed something in the past year: this rise of keyboard enthusiasts being more and more uh, proud of of posting content about keyboards, specifically on TikTok. And I'm giving a specific shout out to TikTok and the TikTok community. Um, there might be a few of you in chat right now. We have a, a very large audience on TikTok that whenever we post anything about our keyboards, there's always dozens and dozens of people talking talking shop with us um, about other keyboards, calling out features on ours, requesting features. With the rise of, you know, I hate to say the rise of the internet, but with platforms like TikTok where a 15-year-old kid who's really into keyboards, keyboards specifically even, uh, what are your like what are your thoughts on that and where where kids can go that are interested about keyboards how do you even get into uh product development of keyboards like say i'm a kid on TikTok, i create cool content about uh keyboards what's next for me what can i do you're talking about like if trying to get in the industry of developing right, products right, right. and, and right. things like that right. yeah you know i think it's it's tough because there aren't a lot of gaming companies out there you know, the number one thing I'd recommend is just find a, a company you believe in and just work your way up, you know, get mm -hmm. a internship, um, you know, do some associate uh, work, but just get your foot in the door because that's that's what I did. 
Um, you know, I, I was in a different, you know, I was always a gamer, but I was in a different career path until I started working for gaming and I just got my, my foot in the door and was able to just, you know, work my way up to being able to even get in the position of helping to, to develop products. So, you know, have a passion about it. I think that goes for life in general. Like, I don't even look at this mm -hmm. as being a job, right? Um, you know, I do it for, for, for you guys. I do it for my friends that need cool products is, you know, just focus on something you're passionate about and it doesn't matter if it's gaming or whatever, you, you will succeed at it for sure. Dang, right in the feels. I, it, here's a question that we get, Koob, I think every stream, every, <laughs> every day we open up our social media, um, is there any plan to make a 60% keyboard uh, for Steel Series? And yes. Wow. Whoa. He just said wow. it. <laughs> bomb bomb dropped. Uh gasp. Nobody <laughs> nobody clip that. Definitely don't clip that. Uh, Pog, nice, no way. Oh we sorry, what was the question? Gotta delete the VOD. Gotta delete the VOD <laughs> immediately. Immediately. Someone delete this. We have to go offline immediately. Um I was what, expecting but, a politician answer, like, oh well we always have some stuff, but no, you I heard love it, it here. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. We got we got the man himself, the man himself, with how 60% keyboards have trended um, and, and smaller form factor keyboards have trended in general. Mm -hmm. What have been your personal thoughts on that? Like, and you mentioned you pitched the, a TKL keyboard, what, seven, eight years ago? Yep. Have 60% keyboards been on your radar as long? And and what have, what have the trends that 60% keyboards have driven in the industry? How's that impacted your thinking about the future of keyboards at Steel Series? Well, I, I, you know, like I mentioned before, right? It's taken a while for TKLs to at least get some sort of mainstream popularity that you know companies can do do things like this. I think we're on a similar path for sixty percent. I, I know when I look at sixty percent, I take a lot of inspiration on you know people's battle stations, how they're customizing these sixty percent. Um, you, you mentioned young gamers before, you know, when we talk about keycaps, frame colors, aviator cables, you know, all those things going into it um, is a really, really interesting thing you're seeing kind of organically happen around 60% keyboards. Um, so I, I'm, you know, I, I have 60% keyboards uh, there. So I think, uh, I think there's some exciting opportunities uh, within the 60% keyboard space uh, moving forward for sure. We love to hear it. We love to hear it. Oh, oh, man. And on that note, not just about 60% keyboards, but where do you think the future of keyboards is headed? What What do you think mm. hasn't been done that can be done in the keyboard space? Or what's the next step for our, our keyboards even? Great question. Yeah, this that's a tough one because I may have to get a little political here on that one. You know, <laughs> I don't want to let fair, too much fair. out. Um, but... Oh. You know, I think as I met, you know, RGB is kind of standard, right? Um, going forward, I think a uh, switch technology, as you saw with OmniPoint, is always going to be a, a focus of ours. Of you know, finding that next, next, and next gen uh, technology that you know really brings something unique to the table and solves some some problems people are having. Um, so I, I can say from a, a switch standpoint, we're not done yet. Um, you know, no timing on that, of course. And then, uh, yeah, I, I'm really interested just because as you, you've heard a couple times and John got all serious talking about Apex Pro TKL being the best selling keyboard in the world is obviously there's a, a big demand for um, T, uh, TKL and small form factor keyboards. I think that is going to continue being a trend, especially as uh, younger uh, gamers are coming into the, uh, you know, you know, they're getting older or they're looking to buy their first gaming keyboard. Um, so I think that's going to be a, a nice trend as well. Oof. Chills. I'm, I'm so chill. excited. I, I, it's like, I almost get embarrassed, like getting excited about product things that we're doing. Cause it's like, what am I getting excited about a new keyboard? Yeah, I am getting excited about a new keyboard. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I think the, I think we can agree Koob is that like when we find out like even a little bit of information on a product that's coming up, it's like the worst and best feeling. Cause I'm like, I want to tell everybody, exactly, I want to tell everybody. <laughs> it's exactly what it is because I'm sure people in chat, you guys can imagine we have, you know, a 
different product team members who work on keyboards, mice, headsets, software, mouse pads. And we, the other people in the company, like people in the marketing team, like Khan and I, we'll hear about a new product that's coming out months and months, sometimes years, a year before that product actually goes to market. And then we just have to sit and watch all of the comments and replies and requests come in about it on social media and just do absolutely nothing about it. Uh, so it is the best, it is the best and worst thing ever for, for, uh, for us and relative to our job. Uh, but that obviously so damn excited for what's to come. Um, and yeah, if you're just joining chat exclamation point ticket, thank you. Bertus CZ with the prime sub. Oh, Kristen, quick rundown with some extra people in chat of, of what happens with all of the, the money that people for some reason give to this channel. Oh yeah. So I just need everyone to know, we like to remind everybody, we keep zero of our Twitch revenue each month. Each month we choose a different charity to donate all of our subs, all of our bits to. And uh, this month we actually have two amazing women's charities, Vital Voices and AnitaB.org. And for the month of March, Steel Series is donation matching. So you know exactly where your sub and your bits are going each month. And um, thank you everybody who has donated so far. We love ya. We love you so much. And uh, yeah, I, I think we have one last question, uh, Jason, before we before we announce the winner of this giveaway. Um, what is your favorite ice cream? <laughs> oh, very Ooh. important. Careful how you answer. Careful how Unless you answer. Unless you're lactose intolerant, and then I am sorry, and you can skip. <laughs> favorite ice cream? Chocolate. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. A, simple, a simple man. A simple, simple, simple man. Powerful answer. Mm -hmm. Dang, okay, okay. What's your favorite, Coob? Uh, I'll probably get roasted, but mint chocolate chip. Uh, oh no, I like. It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll just somebody can cut that out of the stream uh, when we <laughs> when we do the the recap. But yeah, people I saying gross. Oh WTF in chat. Okay, yeah, that's why I didn't want to answer. All right, <laughs> this is about Jason, not our ice cream. <laughs> When you right. stayed at a hotel, did you used to eat the mints that they put on the pillows? <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Yeah, see, I think that's what ruined mint chocolate chip for me. Like, I remember <laughs> eating those when I was younger, and then I just, I dislike anything mint nowadays. Mm, mm. It was something I was, like, force-fed as a kid because my mom liked it, and I, I just, all right, that's it. Okay, that's it. favorite flavor is Merck Stealth flavored. You need to stop, chat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Matt, so, Todd, thank you so much for the five gifted community, five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Rhett and Gordy Keggs. Thank you for the 500 bits. You guys are incredible. Thank you. Thank Let's you go. so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Rhett. Damn. Saints Divide says, I brush my teeth with mint toothpaste every day. <laughs> Why would I want to eat it as ice cream? That's a <laughs> You don't easy, swallow your toothpaste? Band. That's a quick ban on a mod, on a, on a, on a mod. You're also um, fired, Lindsay. Yeah, you're also fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chat, let's get into the moment some of you have probably been waiting for. Oh, before retired USAF gamer, thank you for the bits. Stirring oh, Alloy, oh. thank you for the bits. We are on a hype train right now. So Ooh, little hype we love train, you guys. Hype train. <laughs> Level three. Level three. Excellent. Thank you guys so much for hanging out in chat. We're going to get into the giveaway. Let's do it. And for a little context, this is week six of our Glory Story campaign. We've been celebrating Steel Series, having been in the space in existence for 20 years. Company was founded in 2001. A lot of you in chat were not even born in 2001, including Khan and I and Jason. We're all very young, very young and uh, spry individuals. Um, this is Keyboard Week. We've been celebrating and talking about SteelSeries impact in the keyboard space this entire week. That's why we have Jason Christian on. He's our keyboard guy. He's leading the charge in a lot of legitimately innovative things happening in the keyboard space, not just in our company, but in the industry. I consider it a, an honor to work with him. And Jason, you are now part of your first live product giveaway on the SteelSeries stream. Khan, let's get into it. Let's do it. So remember, if you have entered, uh, you do need to live in an eligible shipping country, exclamation point shipping to check. But um, we are going to announce the winner right now. Let me let me uh, let me pull it up. And here we go. Okay. I'm closing Thank it. You. So last five seconds to type last ticket. Five seconds. Spam ticket. If you've Spam already typed ticket. it, don't type it. But 
ticket, exclamation point ticket. Ready? Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. The giveaway is closed. Uh, closed. Uh, closed. And we're drawing a winner right now. The winner of Jason's keyboard of choice, the Apex Pro TKL, which is what kind of keyboard, Coob? What kind of keyboard is it? The world's best selling TKL keyboard. It just feels good to hear it. Just it feels just feels so, just feels so damn good, good to hear it. The giveaway is closed. And the winner of the Apex Pro TKL keyboard is Sky Keck. <laughs> S-K-Y-K-E-K. <laughs> Why is it always some weird name? Why? Are they in chat, though? Are they in are, chat? You have if to you're... be here. You have to be here. If they're not here, say that you are here in chat. We're scouring. Our mods I'm are scouring. Looking. We're looking I'm not for... Looking. We're looking for whatever. That's Sky... my dad's son. Cammy, like I told you last time, dad's son would be your brother. So I don't know why you would say it that way. <laughs> We're looking for Scott. What? I'll give the countdown if we don't, if we yep, don't hear five it. seconds, five, five seconds. four. If they're not, here's the thing. If they're not in chat by the end of this countdown. Oh, they're here. Oh, they're here. They're here. They're here. Congratulations. Wow. They, heard the, they, they heard the countdown. Congratulations. Sky Keck. Sky K-E-K. <laughs> You have won an Apex Pro TKL, which is, by the way, the world's best-selling TKL keyboard. Feels so good to say. Thanks to who? Hmm. Mr. Thanks to Jason Christian. Right here. <laughs> Thanks to a lot of people. Yes. No, solely you, you created it. No, you created it in your sleep. You designed it yourself. You were at the warehouse shipping these bad boys, <laughs> writing out the addresses of all the people who bought it by oh. hand. Let's not let's not uh, be bashful. I... Uh, and Skykeck, we will reach out to you. Our mods will reach out to you. We'll get your information. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the stream. As we kind of wind down here, we really want to thank everyone who joined us. It's been a hell of a six weeks of of talking about Steel Series products. We're, we got some more cool stuff coming up the rest of the week. We have another giveaway happening tomorrow. I, th I think it's just going to be live on Facebook and Twitter for a Merc uh, Z-Board giveaway so be on the lookout for that everyone who's in chat right now thank you guys so much for hanging out we had such a cool guest with jason here in something that we obviously use every day and do all of our work on these keyboards like i when i first got to steel series the apex pro was the first keyboard that i that i had on my desk to use as an employee and i i've really never talked about this but i don't think i ever realized how special that was to get that keyboard as my first experience as an employee and as someone um joining this team and i'm just very appreciative that we got your time today jason and, and thank you so much no thanks for having me thank you and jason as kind of a, a send-off what do we have to look forward to in steel series keyboards in the future as much as you want to say or not say doesn't matter it's up to you completely no pressure we'll let you kind of kind of send it off here we're going to be blowing some minds in the future for sure we have a ton of exciting things planned uh so you know if you kind of got into us with the apex pro the pro tkl the apex 7 7 tkl the apex 5 the apex 3 this is just the start so it's gonna be a wild ride over the next couple of years and thank you thank you everyone oh love it love it con we got a raid coming up If you're able to unmute, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm swapping back. Just one second, Con. One second, Con. Man, Apex love. Just demonstrating how quick it is to change out the batteries on the Arctic Pro Wireless. Yeah. <laughs> let's get a little raidy raid. Yeah, let's do a little raid. Uh, Jason, sorry, I, I missed probably the last 30 seconds because I couldn't hear, wow. but um, thank you so much for stopping by. It was a treat, and uh, I'm sure chat feels the same. And let's do a little raid. Thank you. Absolutely. And by the way, for anyone in chat, if you're, if you're new here, we like to raid people uh, nearly every single stream. Please be as awesome as you were during our stream to whoever we raid. We're super appreciative that we have one person watching let alone a few hundred every single time that we go live so thank you thank you thank you so much go show some love to whoever we're rating uh we really appreciate you guys and hit exclamation point social follow us on social media for more giveaways when we're going live next more cool guests on our stream thank you guys so 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 much for being an awesome community 
I hate to, community is almost like not even good enough. I wish I could thank each of you individually. Thank you guys. Family, family. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Let's do that raid. Let's get it. Bye.